Hello, my name is Mahmoud. I'm from Fleek. Um, I'm here with my team today, and uh, we wanted to tell you the state of Fleek and what's next for us. So, um, I I know many of you have you know used Fleek before. Uh, hopefully, you all love it <laughs> like we do, um, and like we provide um, sort of like a few things. Um, that are pretty useful in Web3, which are like Web3 hosting for websites like Jamstack websites. Uh, we also have storage on IPFS. Um, we also have, we support ENS, IPNS, um, as well as we provide sort of um, a, a global IPFS gateway that you can use and everybody uses, um, as well as support for on-demand uh, API gateways. Um, and all this data, like the IPFS storage, as well as hosting, um, we persisted on Filecoin uh, eventually, and we kind of submit deals to Filecoin and Web3 storage. Um, sort of over the past year, even longer, we've noticed uh, over time that um, the majority of the requests that we are getting, um, as you can see here, are storage based. So 80% of our requests are 80, like are storage based and the 20% are websites. Um, unfortunately, we haven't been improving our storage services even though we've known about like this stat. Uh, but this year, we've decided to do something about it. Um, and also to support what we thought is maybe only unique to us, um, we wanted to research outside of our network and we saw that as you can see here, globally gaming is like almost, uh, I don't know, six to 10% in 2021. Um, and then you have uh, video streaming, which you know compromises 81 or 80%, um, I guess in 2021. So basically like approximately it's like 90% um, is like uh, web, uh, sorry, uh, gaming as well as storage. And then the 10% involves websites and everything else. Um, so, yeah, so like what's next for us? Like once, once we saw this data, we wanted to do something about it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, brace yourself. Uh, we have a lot in the pipeline basically. Um, and we wanna go onto this endeavor to um, you know, improve our IPFS content retrieval, our, our, our hosting services. Um, and like obviously we wanna add all the cool features that you would get with IPFS hosting and storage like um, you know, Im image optimization, um, you know, persistence with Filecoin, all the cool stuff like serverless functions. Um, but beside that, we wanted to focus on like m two main things, which is like upload speed of content as well as retrieval, um, as well as increase availability of our services um, globally and sort of, yeah, on a global scale. Um, yeah. That's, that's pretty much like what motivated us is we saw that stat, we wanted to do something about it, and now we're here. Um, and the product we wanna build now is like to unify the entire suite of things to kind of push us towards a more interoperable and unified system that can integrate and use other platforms like Filecoin, we use IPFS, ENS, everything. And yeah, so, um, let me see. So starting this year, like I said, we 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 wanted to take a two-pronged approach, sort of in parallel with the developers, where some of them started on a, a new product. And this new product, uh, we wanted to iterate quickly, and we wanted to get the product in the hands of our customers pretty quickly. We're not there yet. We're working on it super quickly and uh, to get it in your hands, basically. And it's called Warp. And as you can see here, it's basically the connection between Dwarp, uh, sorry, between Web2 and Web3 is Dwarp. Um, and event, it's like a temporary layer that's gonna help us improve, uh, you know, latency is gonna improve upload speeds for our content. It's gonna help us uh, for retrievals. Um, yeah, and the, the main idea in Dwarp is that we want it to be non-custodial, so you, like, we want to control less of the platform. So we want to give back freedom to our customers and the user, end users, which obviously means 
less problems for us, less take down notices. Uh, so um, we don't have to worry about that. And yeah, and like I said, it is a temporary layer, but we're working on something. Um, like I said, it's our shortcut to Web3. And uh, it's only half of our plan. The next plan or the next half of this plan um, is obviously like this new product. It's called Fleek Network, uh, aka Orsa basically. And yeah, we want to create a, a like a content delivery network, a decentralized content delivery network. And basically, it's we want to use everything that we've learned over the past year and everybody on the team's experience with lib B2B, with decentralized hosting, with running our own gateway uh, to create sort of a decentralized content delivery network um, that's decentralized eventually, meaning that anybody can run a node, everybody can participate. Um, you can scale, meaning like you can just run end nodes and increase capacity or cache capacity of the network. Um, yeah, and like Web3 content, meaning that everything is represented as an IPLD. It's going to be interoperable and it's going to integrate with Filecoin, IPFS, so it's native to that. Um, it should be robust. <laughs> uh, so if one node goes down and you're streaming data from them, you can we can switch uh, the streaming from one node to another. And yeah, um, and, and, and it's P2P, so anybody can run it. And yeah, so architecture is entirely based on lib P2P, like right here. So we have, uh, we've set some variables that we're not too sure about yet. So we're still researching and we're still obviously running a lot of tests to make sure that, you know, um, we, can, we can propagate messages in the network pretty quickly. Um, and yeah, so it's completely based on lib P2P and, uh, yeah, so the first thing in here is the governance layer, which, like I said, we're working on this like warping, <laughs> meaning that we want to go from Web 2 to Web 3. Uh, and to get there, we need to use some centralized pieces initially. And this is kind of like this line that in the middle, we have some edge nodes, which you can call them cache. And then you have this like governance layer right now, which we want to replace it with a blockchain eventually, like a BFD or a hot stuff governance or a consensus. Um, and all it does right now is, as a node, you register uh, TLS DNS, and you register with the governance layer right now. And you, we, you know, we have a list of all the nodes, and then we can cherry pick which is is you know closest to the end user, and we can serve them requests. And yeah, that's kind of the first. Um, I'm gonna give like a brief talk over Fleek Network. We're gonna announce soon, so it's. I just wanna give. Uh, we're gonna give more information later. And then we have a gateway, which is like, you can think of it as an IPFS gateway. And this is the V0 of the IPFS gateway is uh, not IPFS for Fleek Network gateway, it's similar to IPFS gateway with a load balancer. Um, and then it connects to the, to the node, right? So it's just a simple gateway. Actually, let me talk that, about that a little bit. Is like for after V0, we wanna improve the gateway, as in, instead of going to the gateway, you can go to directly to the node and you can stream data and make sure it's, you know, you can verify it incrementally using graph sync or similar using a cloud for your worker um, or dwarb. Yeah, so, and content routing, we decided to use a DHT slash gossip um, approach. Uh, we also don't wanna pin things, so we don't wanna store things forever. Uh, and we wanna like still improve our eviction policy meaning that how long should we stay? Should it be an LRU? Um, should it be an LFU? Um, and yeah, that's kind of like our content routing. Uh, we've had some experience with it. We've gone from like sort of a DHT approach to a gossip slash DHT. Um, and then we have indexers, which this week has been amazing because everybody's talking about indexers. And I just put this slide in this week. Um, we were talking about indexers, but I wasn't sure which part of our network we should introduce this into because Lotus has it in their nodes. And yeah, it's basically, you can think of clients requesting a great ways. And then this big circle right here is a node um, that has an Nginx proxy sitting in front of it that's caching requests. And then we send two requests in parallel to the content routing in the cache node to the indexer, whoever returns first with you know a provider, we send the data back, uh, done. Um, so that's kind of like where the indexing should happen. Um, I mean, yeah, if the indexing, it, so if the indexing doesn't work, 
uh, we have to go to our content routing. And if the cache node doesn't have the dent node, then we have to go to origin, which is Filecoin or similarly. Then we have to get the data, store it locally, cache it, and on a repeated request, you should have the data on the node. Um, and that's how the indexing works. And we should announce, technically, we're not storage providers, so uh, we shouldn't announce to an indexer, but at the same time, maybe we can announce and it'll improve that uh, availability. <laughs> and then period discovery, uh, we use a set of things like DHT, MDNS, gossip, sub, pruning, grafting. So when you graft or prune a, a set of peers because they've misbehaved or done something, uh, they'll send you a, a bunch of peers that you can use for later connections. Um, also great talks here about relay nodes. Um, so we're exploring that. It doesn't currently work in the MVP. Um, we need to set up some relay nodes and we need to have nodes connect to them first uh, so they can, you know, I mean, if they're behind a firewall. And then we obviously have some Flick uh, bootstrap nodes that we use uh, for the network and it helps you direct your connections and helps you connect to the rest of the network and gossip about the topic, um, which is just a bunch of CIDs going around. <laughs> um, and then we have peering agreements, which we haven't really discussed. Uh, but with all of that, like I'm, I'm giving a brief, we have a, an entire paper that we wrote. It's, it's only an introductory paper um, because it does involve a consensus on a blockchain. Uh, we wanted to write a paper. I'm gonna, I'm gonna link it. I, I didn't actually have it here, but I'm gonna link that paper and it talks more into detail about everything. And um, yeah, so like it's not all rainbows. Like um, it, it, there's a lot of trade-offs, meaning that you know, doing something or having the ability to do something it might, does not mean it's, it's practical to do. And you can have a lot of attacks like Sybil or Eclipse uh, attacks. We've even like looked at some papers uh, when it comes to like boot, uh, boot attacks, meaning with Ethereum, for example, um, some nodes can um, alter the, the view of the nodes connecting to the network uh, initially, and they can, they can eclipse you to prevent you from finding honest nodes. Um, so like it's a big thing for us too. And for us, we're trying to solve it using a consensus layer, a stake maybe. Uh, for Sybil, it's more about, I mean, for Eclipse, it's like also IP uh, rate limiting um, and things like that. Yeah, for Sybil, it's like, yeah, proof of stake. We need to stake like a number of tokens or something similarly. If you have any feedback, please let me know. We're open to feedback. Uh, and, you know, we're available. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've, we're actually almost done with mission number one, which is really cool. Uh, recently, we, like I said, we started this three, about three, four months ago. We've done a bunch of research. We wanted to choose which tools are pretty cool. We found lip P2P, and we knew about lip P2P, and we're almost done with sort of mission number one, which is like, we're calling it first exploration, which is outlining the, the V0 of the spec doing some cool stuff. Um, and hopefully we're gonna run some nodes globally and have a test net once we announce. Um, and yeah, we have other missions, mission number N, uh, which are like governance based, Filecoin and like hot stuff if we're gonna introduce some consensus layer. Uh, we also wanna expand a lot, like scale out massively. And like I said, intro, like integrate with other retrieval markets or retrieval clients. And we wanna see how we wanna do that. And that's why we're here, we wanna talk to everyone. Uh, so if, if you want to talk to me or the team, please do. Um, I want to talk to you. Uh, client verification workers. Um, eventually, we want to also like run, again, client uh, clients in, uh, I mean, we want clients to just directly, trustlessly uh, connect to the cache node and, you know, uh, stream data back, incrementally verify in graph sync. It's not user experience friendly, but we, we think that SaaS services uh, are going to improve that. And then we have optimization on Fleek Web3, which is like this entire, we want to revamp our entire Fleek.co, uh, which is different than Fleek Network. Fleek.co is going to be revamped. It's going to have so many cool things now, um, you know, with team management, uh, image optimization, and all that cool stuff. And then the last one is kind of like my and the teams, like the rest of the teams, uh, interest now, which is trying to do something with zero knowledge proofs and compute. So. Uh, we've heard some talks this week about compute over IPS, IPFS, but we want to do like serverless compute over IPFS. Um, 
And yeah, like I have some open questions. You can ask me questions or ask the team questions. Um, and yeah, there's a lot more stuff you want to do. Like we're going to have a lot of data ingested into our network and um, we're going to provide a lot of data using the CDN. So we want to even explore using an FVM uh, for content analysis plus some ML. Um, and can we run a Cairo VM on top of FVM? I guess I have to ask the other room <laughs> or you guys. Um, and then there's an open question about Lurk. Um, it's like a recent thing that was like provided in April. Um, again, and yeah, I appreciate you. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, we plan to announce more information in the next couple months. Um, we're thrilled to be here. And uh, yeah, we can all build a better retrieval market at open source. Feedback, appreciate it. Thank you.